Hello and welcome back to Swift UI Elements. Today we will talk about the animatable protocol. So let's start. So what is the animatable protocol? With the animatable, you can, as the name says, animate stuff in Swift UI. Today we want to uh, animate some text, um, but to start with, I have to do some boilerplate here. So let's start with the main UI we are uh, building today. So um, that takes a little bit of time, but uh, bear with me and have a look how it could look like. So the value, um, I would say I show a text and that's the text we want to animate. Um, for that, I need um, a number. So I will call it number and here we, st uh, we store the number in an estate. So we say state private var number. Um, I would say if in this example, I will use an integer and we start with zero. And um, so let's wait till the preview fix it is. So here's the zero and um, we do it bold and uh, the font is large title. So you can see it a little bit better. And what else do we need? We need some controls to adjust the value. So we will add an H stack here and we do a little bit of spacing of the elements. So it looks a little bit nicer. Spacing of 30. And now we need some buttons. Um, so the first button we need is a minus. Um, what else do we need? We need um, a reset button, I would say. So let's add a reset button text. It's reset. And then we need a last button um, with a label of text. We add a plus here. Um, no, typo in there. So let's do that. So now we have our three buttons. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger. So I would say the control size should be large. No, large would be enough. And yeah, we can also say the button style. Button style is bordered prominent. So we will add this one also to the plus button. And what else do we need? Yeah, of course, when I press the minus button or the plus button, I will adjust the value. So for that, I add the action here. And uh, what do I do? So I just take the number and subtract, uh, subtract, um, by 100, for example. And on the plus side, we do the same, but with plus. So, and now when I hit the plus button and the minus button, it gets increased or decreased. And when I reset, I want to set it to zero. So let's add that one here. So when it, it gets pressed, I add the zero to the number. So let's do it, reset zero. And now when I increase or decrease the value, I want to have a nice animation. At the moment, it just switches the value. So to do that, I could do it with, with animation, with animation. That's basically a closure and the stuff which is in the closure gets animated. So I will do the same with the plus, with animation. Put it in here and when the uh, preview updates then we get some kind of animation it's a dissolve and uh, the appear animation so it doesn't look that nice so now our animated animatable protocol comes into play for the animatable protocol we need uh, some kind of data type because uh, the data type gets the animation. So um, 
for that, I will create a view, another view, and I will call it animated texts. And it gets content. This one is a view, and this view gets also the animatable protocol. And I'm, I want to be sure that the content which is placed in it uh, has to be a few. So what do we need here? And we say, um, I have a bar, which is my value. And this one is a double. And I initialize it with zero. And then I have a few builder for the content. Um, let content. Um, that is basically um, a closure which takes something and returns a content. And because we have an integer here, but a double in here, I will say, okay, the content has to transform an int into a content type, and the content has to be a few. So let's initialize all the stuff. Um, content escaping content. This one is not few, it has to be content here. Content and now we should almost be fine. Now we have our we need to have our animatable data. So the data part which is animatable and animatable data here you can see empty animatable data is type. But we will use a double in here. And what we will do is just implement a getter and a setter because we store our value here in the value variable. So what we want to do in the get, just return the value. And in the set, we will say value equals new value. And now we, because it's a few, we need also a body in here. And the body just calls the closure and I will say content and I will add an int of value. And now we should be fine with the animated texts. So let's see if it compiles. Yeah, it does. So what we now have to do is um, I will remove that one and I will use our animatable text, animate, animated text, animated text. And uh, what we will add is our value, um, which is the value. And here we have our number. And of course we need a few to present the value. So. This is our value we get in and how we want to present it. We just want to do a text in there and um, present a value. So that's this one and I value. Uh, number cannot convert type double. double, double, double. Let's see. Uh, I will get an int. And assign it. So that's not the, the the not the best code in here, but it's just for the example. I will do it like that. Um, keep in mind you can do it otherwise. No, uh, that's wrong. I need to double in here. So like that. Compile it. It does compile. So let's restart the uh, preview and have a look what the result is. So when I now hit the plus, you see I get an animation for all the stuff. It looks a little bit weird, but we try to fix that. So in the with animation block, I could uh, also adjust the animation a little bit. And I will say I need an ease in and out with a duration of one second, for example. So let's uh, let's use the uh, same one. No. Let's use the same animation in the, on the plus. Let's here. 
and now it gets a little bit smoother. Um, I also could say, okay, the minus takes three seconds. So let's plus is one second, minus is slower. So, um, but I think one second is okay for just uh, showing on demonstration purpose. So, and as you can see, we get a nicely animated value, which changes uh, in the time we specified. And that's one way how you could use the animatable protocol for animating some text or some views in, in SwiftUI. I hope you liked the video. If you have uh, comments or something, put it down the video and we will see you us in the next one. Bye-bye.